quarterback is Stormy Bonatoni. AJ, this St. Louis team has been the talk of the XFL with two of the most exciting finishes of this young season. What's the key to starting the way you guys have finished these last couple weeks? Yeah, just get, trying to get in rhythm early. Um, listen, we just got to come out, have fun, play together as a family. It's the same thing every week. Uh, trust each other, go have fun, play a game for a living. You know this D.C. defense likes to play aggressive. They shift and blitz and disguise things. What's the best way for you guys to combat what they bring? Communication. We just got to communicate up front, um, communicate all the way across the board. We do that, be what we're supposed to be, we'll, we'll be fine. Thanks, AJ. Appreciate it. Speaking of that, D.C. defense, Harry Douglas, who you got over there? I have cornerback Michael Joseph. The last time you were here at Audi Field, you showed up and showed out two interceptions, returning one for a touchdown. Your opponent today on offense, they have not turned the football over. How do you guys change that narrative? We're just going to get after the quarterback, set the tone early, start fast. That's what we've been saying all week. We're going to start fast, get the ball out of his hands, and he's going to make a mistake, and we're going to take it from him. Thank you for your time. Ooh, they are hyped up. That's what I'm talking about, Harry Stormy. Good stuff. All right, so in the XFL, the rules are a little different, and it starts with a kickoff. To encourage kick returns, the kickers have to kick it into the target zone. That's inside the 20, outside of the goal line. If you don't kick it in the target zone, if the ball lands short of the 20 or out of bounds, that's the most serious penalty. It comes back 15 yards from the spot of the kick. That's the plus 45. Now, if the ball goes into the end zone, past the target zone, that's the lesser of the infraction. They'll come out to their own 35-yard line. Both teams will line up five yards apart. They will move once the returner touches the ball. That's for safety purposes. Daniel Whelan boots things away to get the party started. Darius Shepard lets it go into the end zone. So that's the lesser of the infraction. St. Louis will come out on their own 35. Bring him out, bring him out. Here he is, A.J. McCarron, starting quarterback for the St. Louis Battlehawks. Hey, hey. A.J. trying to determine where they want the ball in terms of which hash mark. Obviously, you see the All accolades. Right. What a tremendous Middle college five. career. Bounced around the NFL. Let's go, fellas. Very, very experienced. Seen an awful lot. Been a lot of different places. Come on. Come on, big boy. Set the tone, all right? Set the tone. Trey Wright, Cat, F. Bill, 12 power plus one, right? The big news for the St. Louis offense here in this week is their running back, Brian Hill. So, dealing with a hamstring injury, will get the start today. He is in the backfield behind A.J. McCarron. And they're gonna give it to Hill, his first touch of the game. That D.C. defense making their presence felt. Just a gain of two. Yeah, Brian Hill's a really, really good football player. Big physical back, kind of fits what they are on offense. They're a downhill physical point of attack. Hey, lad, running the shorty, team. swap right. F5, 13 counter on one. How amazing is it that he's even playing this week dealing with that hamstring injury? Here we go. Yeah, and, and, and Anthony Beck, the head coach, says he just guts through it. He finds a way. They're not quite sure how, but he's practiced all week, and he's their best weapon at running back. Second and eight. They give it back to Hill. And he's going nowhere. Joe Wallace, the man to meet him first, a loss of three. Luke's, you talked about this DC defense. Well, they've come to play. And this is just winning at the point of attack here. Shooting the gap right there from Joe Wallace. He's not very tall. He's got great leverage. Really good first step quickness. And a good set of hair. Look at those curls. Third and 11, McCarron. The swing pass to the outside. That's Darius Shepard. And D.C. defenders winning the battle. First drive of the game. Reggie Northup and Kentrell Bryce there on the tackle. Harry, what you got for us? Well, guys, uh, for St. Louis and their offense, they want to kind of stay in third and short, third and mediums. When you get to third and nine plus, that's when this defense is really at their best and they stop opponents. Not many people have completed third or fourth down and longs on them, and that's when they really like to thrive. Good stuff, Harry. So D.C. will force a three and out. Sterling Hoffrichter, the punter. Boot this one away to Kres Ezard. He does not get anything on that return. Hard hitting to start this one in D.C. Both teams undefeated. I mean, this should be the best matchup of the week. Yeah, it should be a really good matchup. Both teams are confident. Both teams can run the football. 
and, and really, you know, something's got to give, right? D.C. has been really good defensively, creating turnovers. St. Louis hasn't turned the ball over yet on the year. Leading the defenders is Jordan Ta'amu. Now, this is a dual quarterback system, but Jordan Ta'amu gets the start with Abram Smith in the backfield. There we go, there and, we go. and he'll run it, too, now. It's not just when we see Derek King coming off the bench. Right, right. Looking to throw on first down, he finds his tight end, Ethan Wolf. He is chopped down by Chris Cooper, a gain of six. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. How about this? A little tempo to start the game. Here's Abram Smith, finds the hole, makes the cut, lowers the shoulder, and he's got a first down. Hey, Swift. 22, 22, Zulu, 22, Zulu. That's offensive let's coordinator go, go, Fred Kice giving the plays to his quarterback to Ready, ready, go. St. Louis showing pressure, and Tahama with the correct read keeps it himself, and he picks up five. See, I, lo I love the blend of the tempo and the quarterback run in the backfield action. You don't give St. Louis a chance to diagnose anything. You're snapping the ball quickly, you're getting the ball to the line of scrimmage, and the defense is wondering, is a quarterback have it or is a running back have it? Second and five, Tamu looking to air it out. He's got a man open. What a throw and catch. Chris Blair tackled inside the five. A huge throw from Jordan Tamu. Brinsley brought down by Brandon Sebastian. A gain of 57. Really good job here on the release to the inside from Blair, and then getting vertical again off the stem, and a wonderfully thrown football from Jordan Dahmer. DC's longest play of the season right there sets them up at first and goal from the four. Dahmer keeps it himself, and he'll be stopped at the five. That was Elon Lumore with the tackle. Monique's got line. 181 height. 181. 181 height. 181 height. Tighten it up. It's right there. Here we go, here we go. Tighten it up. What does that mean? He's talking about that bunch set of the formation here to the bottom of your screen, those receivers. Tamu looking right. Now scans back to the left. Still has plenty of time. Directing traffic, throwing end zone, but throws it away as he is hit after the throw. Pressure applied there again by Lamore. It's one of the good things about the coach to player communication That's is ball, right? it doesn't come it doesn't stop 15 seconds like it does in the NFL so they can give little tidbits to the players on the field lining up correctly making sure you're snapping the ball on time. That's what I love about the right. XFL the access okay. that we get here. Get out, get out. Oh yeah. Donnie Abraham the defensive right. coordinator right. of St. Louis. Here we go. First third down of this drive, third and goal. Tamu scanning the field. Touchdown, DC defenders! A seven yard touchdown pass to Ethan Wolf, the tight end. We came out talking about the defense, but it's the offense for DC that strikes first. Confidence riding high right now for this offense. Now you've got the opportunity. You've got three choices. You can go for one point, two point, three points. DC electing to go for two points here. And you look at the percentages through the first three weeks, really through last night. DC is three of four on two point conversion so far this season. Here they go from the five yard line. Tava rolling out, pitches it to his tight end, Wolf. Rumbling in there. It is good. DC with an eight nothing lead to start this game. Dropping bombs gets him into scoring position. Locates his tight end, Ethan Wolf, 82 here on the option route, and a wonderfully designed play on the shovel pass to get the extra point. DC defenders defending DC. Darius Shepard is the deep man. Daniel Whelan, excuse me, Matt McCrane is getting set to kick this one away for DC. 
Both teams can move once the ball is fielded. There they go. Shepard trying to make a move to the right side. He is brought down shy of the 30. Send it down to Harry. Jordan, you guys had an explosive play, the go route to Chris Blair. What did you see? Uh, I saw them playing press. Uh, knew I had a you know go around backside so I uh, wanted to give it up uh, leave it up there and uh, Chris made a hell of a catch hell of a play uh, that got the that got us going then you got down to the red zone Ethan Wolf explain this touchdown that you connected with him yeah it was just so easy uh, you know you sat in the zone uh, you know saw him wide open big body guy can't miss him uh, just hit him right in the area and he would come down with it thanks Jordan yes, sir, thank you. All right, Harry, good stuff right second drop of the game for St. Louis Tom what do you want to see I want to see some up tempo. I want to see them get the ball out of their hands quick, like they're doing right here. And again, as we talked about coming on air, don't play into DC's hands defensively. They want to move and they want to change and they want to do all this stuff post snap. Don't let them do it. Get them out of their comfort zone. And you're seeing that now from St. Louis offensively. Jim McCarry has got that NFL experience and it has rubbed off on his wide receivers. Second and six, looking over the middle as receiver fell down. It's picked off. That's Michael Joseph. His third interception, and it's a pick six with the flip. Michael Joseph. Hey now. Well, he wasn't lying. He told. Receivers running the out route here, and he just slides and falls down. That's likely a completed pass. Easy pitch and catch. Michael Joseph. Really the exact same area of the field as it was in week one for his pick six there. Rowdy fan base there in that end zone. Fantastic start. Not DC didn't even need the lemons for that pick six. <laughs> so they're going from two from the five yard line. Donald, pressure, throwing, and overthrows his running back, Smith. Harry, your guy said it before the game. Mike Joe, you said it before the game. You spoke it into existence. Talk me through it, my man. Now you got a manifest. I told you you're going to make a mistake, and I'm going to take it from him. That's what I did. Take it to the crib. We back at home. We got to put on a show for the fans. Man, I love this team. We got to keep it going, though. It ain't over. So last week when you scored a touchdown, you said it was a party on you in the end zone. Is it party on me, party on three right now? It's always party time. It's always party time when you get that ball. Got to touch that paint. My boy, CB, my roommate, I told him earlier in the week we got to start fast. And I love, I love to see it. Let's, we got to keep it going, though. Keep balling, my man. You know what I love? I love the XFL. This <laughs> is fun. Well, a lot of energy in this building. It's a fantastic venue, and fans are loving it. Listen, DC's given a lot to cheer for so far here in the first quarter. That's the standing room only section here at Audi Field. As a reminder, the kicker has to kick it into the target zone. Here's Matt McLean. Kicks it off. Once it's fielded, both teams will go. Shepard. Can't get anything going. Tripped up around his ankles once again, shy of the 30. All right, a little extracurricular. That just means these guys are in it. They're excited. Quick three, the XFL continues later today at 4 p.m. on FX. It's the Guardians and the Renegades. Then at 8 p.m. on ESPN2, see the Brahmas and the Roughnecks. Both games are also available on ESPN+. Plus. Just get comfortable. We got the XFL for you all day long. We certainly do. And, and, and by the way, don't count out the St. Louis team. Just because they're down 14 nothing, they kind of thrive in these moments, as evidenced through the first two weeks. Oh, yeah. Just wait till the fourth. Yeah, just wait till the fourth. <laughs> to carry. Strong throw over the middle, completes that one to Hakeem Butler. Butler is taken down after a gain of 19. Butler's got an incredible story. Wasn't picked up originally. Reached out to Anthony Becht over. Twitter DM'd him, and that's how they picked him up. He's a big body guy. All of the receivers from St. Louis are big players. First and ten on the ground to go with Brian Hill. Trying to get him going. 
picks up three. Taxi eye. Swap right. Taxi eye. It's Bruce Kurkowski, the offensive coordinator for St. Louis. To AJ McCarron said he was so excited to come here to be able to learn under Gretkowski. Hey, easy. 51 mesh. 51 mesh. Mesh. AJ McCarron sees cover one right here, man to man coverage. Second and seven. Good protection. Put some air under it for his running back. Hill completes it. That's why they wanted Brian Hill on the field. He could do so many things. All right, get left. There ain't no slipping. That's it. Okay. Hey, let's go down and drive together. Okay. It's simple. All right. We that was that was a mistake on us. It is what it is. All right. That's AJ McCarron showing his leadership skills before this drive started. Yeah, and listen, one of the most difficult things to do at the quarterback position is is play the next play. Right. You can't let things linger and and, and sulk about it. Got to move forward. Backfield throws it to Austin Prohl. He's the son of the wide receiver coach Ricky Prohl. Picks up six. I saw Ricky Prohl on the field before the game. He is still jacked. He is. Here, Greg Williams on that call. Two lurk. So we're gonna have cover two here. Two high safeties in those corners are gonna they're gonna lurk. They're gonna kind of sink. Here's the toss to Mateo Durant. Durant, he's the guy that delivers the blow. Somebody's helmet popped off there. Picks up the first down again, a six. There's Ricky Pearl. Played so many years in the NFL. Now passing down his knowledge to the wide receivers here at St. Louis. Snap off. Good protection again. Directing traffic, telling him to go left, throwing end zone. Incomplete. He's looking for a keen butler, his big target at 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, Marcel Aitman, six foot four. Bear, butler Miami six six. Zero. Bear, Miami, zero. Bump left extend 14 Willie Z smoke. Here we go. This is the fun chess match that I love to see. Offensive coordinator versus defensive coordinator on the left. Let's go, let's go. So Z Smoke's going to be a wide receiver quick screen. Likely to the bottom of your screen here. Up to the right. Going to the right. Yep. That's Marcel Aitman. And Aitman is dragged down. St. Louis on third and short calls a timeout here in this first quarter. If you're new to the XFL, spanning coast to coast. Here in 2013, we've got the North Division starting in Seattle, Vegas, St. Louis, and DC. The South Division, we got three teams in Texas, Arlington, Houston, San Antonio, and the Orlando Guardians. So far through part of three weeks, the Vegas Vipers 0-3 after Seattle got their first win in Vegas yesterday. Yep. Who's impressed you? Really, I got to be honest with you. I think the, the teams that have been able to come up with ways to run the football knowing that the offensive line is an issue early on without preseason game, D.C., they play like a college team, running quarterbacks, zone read, Quarterback power, quarterback counter, makes it very difficult to defend in, in professional football. And then I think 
without question, that offense down in Houston is really impressive. McCarron is 6 for 8, 65 yards so far this game. He's hit five different receivers. He's got a third and three right here. McCarron throws his running back hill all alone. He will walk in for the touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown pass from McCarron to Hill. And St. Louis right back in it. See the running back and leak out to the left. The man responsible for covering him can't get through all the traffic. Well, Anthony Beck said he's going to go for two every single time until it gets late, and then he has to go for more. There's the two-point conversion from the five-yard line. Goes back to his left. Throw, he's got a man. It's good to Darius Shepard. Ooh, A.J. McCarron, that was clean. Making Joe Wallace look silly. After an impassioned speech on the sideline, A.J. McCarron moves his offense right down the field to answer what has been an all DC first quarter. The people's elbow coming out from St. Louis to DC. Give them what they want. Welcome back to Audi Field. As the DC defenders with a 14 to eight lead over the St. Louis Battlehawks have sent down a Stormy who's got Brian Hill. Yes, sir. And Brian, it seemed like that was a very necessary response from your group. What was the mentality to get in the end zone there? Uh, we just kept saying before the drive, one play at a time. No such thing as 14 play play, so point play. So we just got to go down there, score, let the do defense do what they do. I know you've been gutting it out this week with a hamstring injury, but didn't let it hamper the people's elbow now, did you? I know. I already promised ESPN I was going to do the people's el elbow with the first score, so I had to keep my word, you know. Awesome stuff. Have fun out there. Oh, thank you. Oh, we love that. <laughs> and we love that we've got a good game here. So Donnie Hegman will kick things off from every asset within the target zone. That's inside the 20, outside of the goal line. So it is fielded by Ezra. Now both teams can move. And Ezra is brought out of bounds. How about this celebration? Let's have some fun here in the XFL. Got to give the people what they want. Oh, boy. <laughs> Just don't get hurt. Football is supposed to be fun. Oh, oh, I bet. Hey, spread out. Jordan out. Tamu will come back out. Hey, bunch left, bunch left. He'll be joined in the backfield by Raquel Armstead. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. Set, go. There's Armstead in his first pick. Got such a speed, but wait, the ball comes out. Was he down? Wait a minute. Waiting for the signal. And it's St. Louis ball. Ben DeLuca with the fumble recovery for the Battle Hawks. Ready spot there. 34, 34. I didn't see anybody point anyway. Defense up. Defense That's a good spot. Up. Turnover clear. Turnover clear. End zone shot. Had it. Sure. Take a look from the end zone shot here. You heard Dean Blandino at our command center. It was a very clear shot. The ball is out and loose before his knee hits the ground. here in the XFL is that you can challenge any play and now it doesn't matter if the penalty was called or not you can challenge something if you think that there was maybe a missed penalty right the only caveat is that you have to have a timeout remaining so the challenge chip 
is that red chip below the timeout mark. You can use that in the first half, the second, or the second half. You only get one per game. Second and nine. DC with the blitz, setting up the screen, and it goes nowhere. A loss of two. Francis Bernard with the tackle on Durant. Francis Bernard saved a touchdown here. It was a really well set up screen. It's just a good tackle, a good play. Did I hear Obama special here in DC? We're in DC. We did. Let me see what this looks like. We got some penalty flags. Number 61, five yard penalty, still third down. That's the center, Mike Panisha. First penalty of the game on either team. We well, see a, a, a lot of movement by DC, getting it St. Louis a little antsy up front. And again, we, we talked about what DC wants to do. A lot of post snap movement. I was looking forward to seeing what the Obama special is. Hey, no, 50, 50. Just get a completion for the field goal. 28, and 16. DC's only rushing three. The carry with Rue will just get down. The tackle there for DC. As much yardage as eligible. Number 61 of the offense has reported as eligible. 73 61. Had he been able to throw that football, he'd be in a much better position here. This is a long field goal attempt. A 53 yard attempt for Donnie Hagman. Kick is up and he pushes it wide right. No good. Defense for DC holding it strong. Forcing a missed field goal attempt after fumbling the football offensively. If you're an under fan, I'd love to see that. Yeah, because the Bulls offense is right. lighting it up. Stormy, we, we talk betting with you because you're our betting expert. The under, the over, what's the good move here today? Here we go, here we go. Well, you would have thought coming in perhaps with the wind that an under might be a good bet in this one, but uh, the scoring was off to a fast and furious start, especially with that pick six early. Ready, guys. Ready. Go. And up goes to Armstead, who just fumbled it. That's some confidence. When your running back fumbles, you go back to him. Yeah, absolutely. Have a short memory, get his confidence back. You know you trust him. Ready, ready. Set, go. Back to Armstead, trying to stretch it out. Oh, Pendant spun around, and he lost it again. The ball coming loose. It's third down. Good, 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 good. Oh, wow. We had a sub. We had a sub. Red alert. Zero. Cub. moving before he hits the floor. Hey, 22, 22, Monday, Monday. Monday Dean, Monday. is that something that can get looked at? There's the whistle. Yep. Okay, he wants to challenge, challenge the fumble on the plate. Okay. St. Louis is challenging the ruling of the runner being down prior to the ball coming loose. The play is under review. Did you see that stuff and do that, or do I have to I'm see? with you, Chris. How's that work? Is he supposed to tell? I mean, isn't he supposed to see those fumbles? Dean? This is what I'm looking at. Snow, I'm, I know that. What I'm looking at here is that left arm. See, I can't tell if that left arm is down. I'm getting blocked out. That's why. See? I'm looking at the left arm and I'm looking at the right elbow. And again, 
is that forearm down? That's what I just can't tell. I don't know if we've got anything else. I'm looking at the low end zone, yeah. And I'm see, I just so in the same shot, right? Ball's coming. It looks like it's coming out right here. Okay, do we have a recovery? Give me a clear recovery. Okay. Give me a spot. The B48. All right, Chris. We're gonna Stand. we're gonna overturn. We've got we've got a fumble recovered by St. Louis. We're gonna put the ball. At the at the 48 yard line. We got to make the Let's go. Let's go, offense. That would be the B48, right? The B48, correct. B48. We'll leave the clock where it is, and St. Louis is not charged a timeout. And they can't challenge again. Correct. After review, the runner, the ball became loose prior to the runner being down. It was recovered by St. Louis. It's first down. St. Louis has not charged the timeout. So DC has now fumbled on their last two drives. And a good challenge by Anthony Beck. That's what you can tell. You can challenge any play, and they don't lose a timeout. Well, you heard, you heard Anthony Beck saying to the officials, why should I have had to challenge that? Shouldn't that have been looked at? Um, and so, nevertheless, he's Wait, right using the challenge. Challenges. Dean, what, what, what's your take on that from, from Anthony Beck's perspective? Yeah, we were we were looking at it, and Coach is right. That's something that we were looking at. We just couldn't tell. Then finally, we got that low end zone shot. We were able to tell that it was loose. So good challenge by Coach. Beck. Pass is incomplete. In second down. Here we go. Let's go. After a hot start by DC, going up 14 nothing. St. Louis. After the second turnover. Themselves here in second and ten, great field position. We're good, we're good. 180! One touch! Goes to Hill, running across the formation, still on his feet. Brought down. Hey, inside the 45, that's Santos Ramirez with the tackle, eight of eight. That's never go. to Shepard with a stiff arm at the end. Balls out, but it gets out of bounds. <laughs> a gain of 20 and a first down. A.J. McCarron's been able to do something that the previous two quarterbacks that have faced D.C. have not been able to consistently do and find the open void because they're, they're there. There are, there are some unsound elements to this defense when they decide to bring pressure. He's hung in there, showed some points, and delivered the ball. Trey Wright, boom, Z fly, 18 taxi on. Let's go, let's go, move, move! 30 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Set, lighting! Wait, set! Tosses to Hill. Nothing doing over that right hey, side. Is there anybody, Picks, uh, is there anybody on you? Two or three. Good job, guys, on the slick. That's a quarter. Good job. B Hill. Hey, B, tell B Hill. You heard, bro, it's the end of the quarter. Get some water. End of the quarter. Good, good job. So that'll do it. A beautiful shot of the Washington Monument. Outstanding ball game to start here at the end of one. DC on top, 14 to 8 into Stormy Sportsbook, taking a look at who is going to win it all according to odds makers in Vegas. The numbers that they have so far for the 2023 XFL Championship. A cluster of 2-0 and teams atop the board here with Wade Phillips, Houston Roughnecks team, your favorite at plus 280. D.C. and St. Louis on the field in front of us. Near the top themselves, the defenders actually making the biggest move of the week from middle of the pack to leapfrogging the Battlehawks is the second shortest shot on the board now, guys, at plus 320. 
So, Stormy, people listened to you last week when we were live betting in game. You said it was a good pick to take DC, and they went on top. Yeah. Any, any picks you're looking at right now? Well, DC, obviously, they're odd to here. Go ahead. Shep, a huge game taken down inside the five yard line. And we have a DC yeah, defender player down right now. We'll keep an eye on that, but as far as your question goes, John, DC was certainly looking like a good bet when they were sitting there middle of the pack, but as the odds get shorter, less and less are you going to want to buy in on them. I think Seattle could actually be an interesting team to get invested in. Best offense in the XFL in terms of moving the ball, but the points just hadn't really been able to follow until last night when they got their first win of the season. So 10-1 uh, to 1 odds, a little bit lower on the odds board, could work their way up. Ooh, okay. Stormy Sportsbook. Right, right. <laughs> Be short. Write it down. Dialing it in. Make yourself some guy. money, everyone at home. That's yeah. it. I'll go under. Hey, I'll go under. Battle Hawks in the red zone. Durant, the man in the backfield. He gets the touch and he lost it. Did he get it back? There's a fight on the bottom of that pile. sudden changes out here. Yeah, it's just a great job by this DC, DC defense that's been the strong point of this team. When you have turnovers like they just had offensively, we call it sudden change. And two times in a row, this defense showed up big, forcing a missed field goal and also forcing a fumble right there on that last possession. And you know, Harry, what's unique about this offense for DC, Jordan Ta'amu, Jarek King, those guys get along so well. So do the running backs. Abram Smith, Raquel Armstead, Harry, I know you played for 10 years in the NFL. Is that normal for these guys to get along like this? It's not, especially in the XFL when you know these guys are competing, trying to get to a spot where they can make an NFL roster or whatever professional team. But those guys' relationship, I interviewed Abram Smith last week, and he insisted that I have Raquel Armstead right there with them. That speaks to those guys' relationship. That is awesome. Guys know there's plenty of opportunity to go around here in the XFL. You just got to get something on tape yep. to show scouts and get to the next level. You got 10 weeks to put your best out there. And when you get your opportunity, you got to make the most of it. Ready, ready. Take it. Second and six. Tano throws and just past the hands of his receiver, Lucky Jackson. Man, he'd still be running right now. No, he sure would be. Jordan Tano would love to have that one back. That's a throw that you got to make a foot in front of the numbers, and that's just on the outstretched fingers of Jackson. You're right, John. He might be off and running. Lucky, 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 lucky. Lucky, racing lucky. Lucky, lucky. The clock continues to tick here outside two minutes. Third and six for D.C. Hey, 10, 10, 10. Ready, ready. Take it. Dominic on the rollout to his left. Oh. Out of contact. Incomplete. Looking for Josh Hammond. No flags. That was Levert Hill there in coverage. Got the rollout right here, trying to throw the corner out. Oh, he's tapping him. Mm. He's got that right hand right off of the break around the hip. Oh, my God. Jordan Tomlin, none too happy with that. No call. Austin Prohl has to back up. My goodness, what a punt. Fields it at the 15. Prohl runs into his own man and is brought down around the 26. Get 
put on. He said, what? Jordan Tabu did not get his wish right there, but DC's on top. Yeah. Shriffin alongside my partner, Tom Lugerville, Harry Douglas, Stormy by Tony on the sidelines. We got a good one. Battle of the Unbeatens. Very teams with two turnovers here. 12 counter, F smoke one, right? This is two plays built into one. He can either run the counter play or throw the quick screen, which is the smoke. He'll base it on the numbers in the box. And off goes to Hill, pushes the pile. Empty left, empty left, Lincoln extra. It's a gain of five on first. Empty left, Lincoln extra. Here you go. Hey, Lincoln extra. Lincoln extra. Lincoln extra. Marcel, help him out. Help him out, Marcel. Lincoln, Lincoln extra. Backfield trying to set up the screen. And the pass is complete ten, for a ten, first ten, down. Ten. On the ball, 10. ten. Steven Mitchell Jr. Let's go, Jin left towel. Jin left towel. No, Jin left open. Jin left open. 300 jet. Brag. Why hand signal? 300. 300 jet. 300 jet. Brag. Brag. 300 jet. He's in there at running back. He's the guy who just fumbled it for St. White. Louis. White. Flag is out. Completely passes to Mitchell Jr. Gain of seven. Let's see what that flag is about. Number, number six. Number six. Offside in the neutral zone at the snap. Defense number six. Five-yard penalty. Replay first down. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. That's Fidal Brown. Ball to the offsides. First penalty against D.C. Right. First action Trey of the season for Fidal Brown as well. Here we go. Trey Wright. F. Peel. Trey Wright. F. Peel. 12 duo. X and Z smoke. Yep. Two plays here. Duo's an inside run play where you're going to have two people doubling. Hey, you got it. A defender, that's where the term duo comes from. First and five. And off is to Durant. Gets by one tackle. Still picks up six. Look at Marcel, look at Marcel. Set. Here we go. Marcel Aitman, and he's at the top of the screen. And up goes Durant. He's brought down after a gain of seven. Action three, Jets. So why did he ask Snug him to look for the wide receiver at the top of the screen and then hand it off? Snug right, action three, Jet. Watch he smash. Let's get this call. Because initially the defender hadn't walked over Aitman yet. And he was just alerting him, you might have that smoke, which is that quick screen. And you hear him say Xerox. Guess what a Xerox is? It's a copy. We're going to run the same thing again. Back to back, same place. Simple. I like that. Yeah. Second and three. Looking for a tight end. And said he's going to Aikman. Jump ball. And Aikman never saw it. That was Michael Joseph in coverage. You know, Harry, these receivers. Let's go Shorty Swamp, right? Uh, are really 11, big, 11, 11, 11. but you got to be able to separate. Right. I think that's a bit of an issue for this team. Well, yeah, when you're a bigger receiver, now you're more susceptible to a cornerback putting his hands on you, which we just seen right there by Michael Joseph for the yep. DC defenders. Aitman, he's six foot four. Campbell, six foot three. Hakeem Butler, six foot six. They got some big wide receivers. They do. Third and three coming up for the Battle Hawks. Cameron, empty backfield, pressure backside, gets rid of it, and Durant can't make the one-handed catch. Go out! Go out that way! I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm down! Dude, the running back's wide open. 
A.J. McCarron is a Number guy, because he's playing the, the NFL, he demands he excellence from everyone around him. No doubt. We wanted Mateo Durant to be a little wider in his route, was not happy with where he was at in terms of the spacing on the field. Victor with the punt for the punch called for by Ezra at the 10. See the first three episodes of the XFL docuseries, Player 54, Chasing the NFL Dream. It's available now on ESPN+, Plus. directed by the great one Peter Berg. This nine-part docuseries chronicles the creation of the XFL under new ownership and provides an all-access look at all eight teams. The owners of the XFL, Dwayne Johnson, Danny Garcia, Jerry Cardinal, their vision years ago to bring this league back, to give these guys an opportunity, a chance to live out their dreams, go, keep go, their go. dreams alive. This week three, it's been incredible so far. It has been. De'Ara King in at quarterback. We talked about this two quarterback system for DC. And Reggie Barlow, head coach for DC, said the reason why it works is because they respect each other and they care about each other. Force X plays. Here the offensive call there. Wait, wait, wait. This is Armstead trying to find a hole. Now bounces it outside, but it flag is down in the backfield. Yes, sir. Looks like a hold. Hey, we got the the goal. Holding. Offense number 72. Half the distance to the goal. Replay. Second down. That's the right tackle. T.J. Storman. Yeah, you see him just grab, and you see the jersey extended right there on Tony Carson left. Wells, number 53. Tony left. 16 Gucci. 16 Rock. Gucci. Hey, 16 Gucci. 16 Gucci. 16 Gucci. 16 Gucci. 16 Gucci. 16 Start hearing those team numbers in this offense. That's quarterback run. 16, 17, 18, 19. Second 15. Trouble for DC. De'Aaron King just does get out of his own end zone. And one the more again was in there for the stop. Talk about collapsing the gap. Really well done. And back has no chance there. Abram Smith holding up that block off the edge of Lauren Luma. Let's go. Flex right, race arrow. Flex right, race arrow. Flex right, race arrow. Flex right, race arrow. Let's go. Eric King, known for his legs, he's going to have to throw it here. Third and 18. Rolling out to his right. Decides to take off, and there is just nothing there. St. Louis was ready for De'Aaron King. That's Carlos well Carson Wells on the stop. Really good defensive stance there by St. Louis. They were prepared for quarterback run. Elon Loomer, number 95, blew up the play on the second down. Flags. Were y'all holding them up? Were we holding them up or no? Okay. Okay, so not, nothing there. Okay. There is no foul on the play. Re please reset the play clock to 25 seconds. Thank you for the explanation, Chris Coit. So Wheeling will come on to punt it away. His last punt was an XFL season long, 61 yard punt. He can hammer the ball. Man. Austin Prohl is the deep man for St. Louis. Wheeling gets a ton of air onto this one. Prohl backing up again. Another booming kick. Prohl spinning away from one defender. Eventually brought down past the 40. Well, we started hot. But both defenses now settling. 15 to 8 lead looking at the Iwo Jima Memorial here in picture perfect Washington, D.C. Anthony Becht, and for your offense as they take the field here, what do you need to see from them more to get going? Yeah, you know, I think we're moving the ball pretty well. I mean, uh, a little bit slow start up front. We got down big. I love our team's composure, bouncing back. Defense is going to do a great job. Let's not turn it over in the red zone. That's not us. That's not who we are. We'll get better at that. We're just working through some things. We are moving the ball well. I expect them to do the same thing. We've got to punch it in now. Appreciate right, the time. Thanks, First right. time, John, that all season that they have had to deal with turnovers. Move. 
Very good point. Good stuff, Stormy. So Seattle, excuse me, St. Louis gets the ball back, finding themselves down 14 to 8 here in the second quarter. Handoff is to Hill. And Hill, what a form tackle there by Dewan Neal. You know, Tom, we had a good conversation this week with Anthony Beck, and he was telling us about why he's enjoyed this XFL experience. He's had an opportunity to build the St. Louis team from scratch. That means recruiting guys, watching their tape, drafting them, coaching them, and he's really enjoyed every part of it. He's been involved in every single facet, and I think the thing that he's done a really good job of is they've got a lot of high-end coaches on his staff. And he told those guys, you can't coach these guys to, and expect them to play like you did. They're not you. And so I think they've got a really good approach from the coaching staff. Strong throw to the outside, just throws it over Shepard. Stormy? To add to that point that Tom just made about the St. Louis coaching staff, I talked to wide receiver Hakeem Butler, who said that Ricky Prohl has been the best coach that he has ever had. He has a way, despite being a two-time Super Bowl champ, of making things extremely digestible, and that group is better for it. Yeah, Stormy, I'd say the same about Leroy Glover, the defensive line coach, former All-Pro. Same thing. They speak to listen. Third and nine. McCarry bouncing around. He just gets rid of it. That was Jarrell Owens, the guy pressuring McCarry. And DC will force a three and out. Yeah, and I agree with Anthony Beck. They were moving the, fo the football well, but for whatever reason, not on the same page there in this drive. And that's two back to back drives for both DC and St. Louis where the offense has got behind the chains. They got to do a much better job on first down, both teams. Africa. Plenty of air underneath this one. And Ezard will call for the fair catch. FX Snowfall is back for its sixth and final season where a feud threatens to destroy the Saint family. Every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific on FX, also streaming on Hulu. All right, 421. What do you want to see out of the defenders here at this drive on offense? Let's see what they're going to do at quarterback first and foremost. They've got Derek King back in the game, and at some point, you know, Derek King's going to have to prove that he can throw the football effectively enough so that people don't just load the box and say, "Hey, we're going to we're going to match you hat for hat, and we're going to stop quarterback runs." So at some point or another, we're going to have to see Derek King throw the football. Yeah, even on a third and 18 on his last drive, he decided to take it down because nobody was open. There's the shovel pass to the inside with Abram Smith. And Smith will pick up five. So Jordan Thomas started the game. There's the drive chart. The last five drives for the defenders. Right, and, and look at the time. I mean, you're, you're not you're not taking any time off the clock, and, and, and you're not coming away with anything. Hey, sixteen pitch. Hey, knock up, knock up, knock up, knock up. It's fire. Yeah, sixteen pitch. Yeah, that's all he does. Wait, wait, wait. Second and five. There's the pitch to the outside to Armstead. But St. Louis was there. Stopped from for a gain of three. Bring it third down. Personnel, left personnel, left personnel. Left personnel. Flex right. Flex right. Flex right. Get him over there. Flex right. Get the wide out over there. Flex right. 15 Bronco. 15 Bronco. 15 Bronco. 15 Bronco. 15 Bronco. Another quarterback run here. Got third and short, exactly what you'd like to do. You've got the whole playbook in your quarterback run game on third and two. St. Louis is stacked in the box right now. They were ready for it. Bring down De'Ara King. That was Kevin Atkins with the sack. I don't know if this is just a bust up front. Certainly, I mean, they don't block the edge, they don't block the A gap between the center and the guard. There's nowhere to run for De'Aaron King, and they've got to get short up in their offensive line there in your protection package. So now St. Louis forces a three and out as Wheelan is on the punt away again. Another booming kick. Here's Pro. The field at the 31. He's got some blockers in front of him, still on his feet, down the right sideline, but we do have a flag down behind the play. During the return, number 25, blocking the back. Oh. 
during the return. Illegal block in the back, receiving team number 25. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's first and ten. It's Lucas Dennis called for the foul. You know, we don't talk about special Thanks, teams team. much, but Daniel Whelan, the punter for oh. D.C., man, he has been impressive. Almost a five-second hang time on the last punt, rushing the ball. Talk about putting some good stuff on tape. Hey, smoke, smoke! So a shift over to the left side of that formation for St. Louis as Hill is in the backfield behind McCarron. First and ten, handoff is to Hill. Goes over that left side. Good blocking up front for St. Louis as Joseph brings him down after a game of eight. Well, we know what's coming now, don't we, John? <laughs> Xerox means copy. <laughs> Let's it again. Keep it simple. Oh, he Second and two. No, they switched it up. Screen passes to Shepard. Spun down, but he does have enough for a first down. Joseph on the tackle. We have hit the two-minute warning. This is the two-minute warning. DC with a 14-8 lead over St. Louis. Both teams undefeated. Two minutes. The clock will stop. We go to traditional college rules on first downs. The clock will stop. So plenty of time for St. Louis here with two timeouts. 155 to play here in this first half. And I like this because I, I, you want to get as much football as you can in in those two minutes. Get as many opportunities for each team as you can in those two minutes. I like this rule. I also like the running clock outside of the two yeah. minutes because it fits it in this nice three-hour window. Oh, no. Fans Probably. can enjoy a nice quick game. Yeah, it's fast-paced, up-tempo. Can't really say. Damn. He, he see Anthony back there going, let's go. He forgets that he used to be us. <laughs> he knows about TV timeouts. Come on, man. Well, in the backfield with McCarron. McCarron will complete it to Akeem Butler. Oh, what a move. Hakeem Butler making the defense look silly. Trent Ray, Trent Ray on the ball. Trent Ray, 15 Willie Spray. Trent Ray, 15 Willie Spray. Hey, Willie on. Willie on. Willie on. Hakeem Butler just kind of hanging out in the open void there. AJ McCarron shows nice poise, patience, gets the ball out. 200 jet. Hey, easy, easy. Go 200 jet. 200 jet. Seven. I know Harry had moves like that back in the day. <laughs> Making defenders fall. Second and one. McCarron over the middle. Back to Butler showing those strong hands. Wheels it in for a first down. On the ball. On the ball. right, Trish right, Trish right. St. Louis going quick. Picked up 20 yards there. Houston. Ball is spotted, so the clock will continue to run as we approach a minute to play in this half. Purdue route. Hey, Finney. Backfield, former Karen goes back to his butt receiver Butler. And he's dragged down after a game of seven. Jim Wright, Jim Wright, Tau, Jim Wright, Tau. Jim Wright, Tau. Six, fifty, Haas. Jim Wright, Tau, Haas. six. Haas, fifty. F two. Fifty. Eight. This was that last Two. big play by Butler, a gain of twenty, showing those strong mitts. Yeah, he's got that wide catch radius, One big eight. body. One touch. 25 seconds to play in this half. Second and four. McCarron finds a soft spot in the zone. Completes it to Butler again. Somebody guard that man. Jim, who called time? Keith Butler doing a nice Talk job just getting down the seam and then settling in the hole. 30 seconds. Such a big body and a big target, especially in the red zone, huh, Harry? We got everything we want now. Yeah, Green he is. He's a big body guy. And guys, I'll tell you, the, the previous big play that he had, he got man press across the board by D.C. So A.J. McCarron's doing a nice job of picking this matchup. Also, when D.C.'s going zone, 
Butler's doing a phenomenal job finding the soft spot and making himself available to his quarterback. And A.J. McCarron's doing a great job finding him. Yeah, A.J.'s been doing, you know, Harry, what other quarterbacks haven't been able to do, and that's dissect all of this post-stop movement. He's doing a nice job of it. Harry, is there a name when the wide receiver makes the defender fall on a move? Is that called anything? You just laugh and point at him. <laughs> <laughs> and watch it on film and laugh some more. <laughs> Butler's got a lot of ha-has on this drive. 18 seconds to play in the half. First and 10 for McCarron. Finds his running back Hill out of the backfield. He's going to be stopped at the one. And a timeout, St. Louis. 8-12. Timeout, St. Louis. Stay out there. Stay out there. there. Stay out there. 30 seconds. Stay out there. Hey, we cannot have a sack. We cannot have a sack here. Please reset the game clock to 11 seconds. 11 seconds, please. So Anthony Beck telling his quarterback, we're out of timeouts. Yep. You cannot afford a sack here. No negative plays. You want to get the ball to the court, get the ball in quickly. Seconds. You might have a couple. And let's go. Double right clan. Double right clan. Two Jet Ohio and wrap to the left side. Hey, double right clamp. Two Jet Ohio. 11 seconds. Can you run the ball here? There is picture of Key. Boy, you can. You'd have to have two plays in your pocket. You could. That second play, you better be ready to roll and snap the ball immediately. Set. Loudest part of the stadium. St. Louis on second and goal from the one. McCarron looking right. Lofts it up. Incomplete. He was looking for his big receiver, Butler. We're going to do this quick. Go, go, team alert. Be ready. Chin left open. 300 jet blog. One hand signal. Chin left open. 300 jet blog. One hand signal. Got to be fast. Only six seconds. Let's go. Swag, 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 swag. You're going to say Y hand signal. He's going to give the wide receiver a signal what route he wants to run here. They've got matchups because they've got size on the outside. Third and goal, hot route, touchdown! Two point, two point, two point. Hakeem Butler with the touchdown reception. And they got to break him up afterwards. 10, 10, 10, double right, two jet, double right. Double right, two jet, double right. Butler just came alive on that drive. Yep. That's the route AJ gave him. Perfectly thrown football. Here we go, let's go! Let's go, we got to finish! Come the Hakeem Butler show. 11, 11, 11. Double right, 11. two jet, double wrap. Here we go. Be ready. St. Hey, Louis ready. is going double for right. two. They two converted jet, earlier right. on their two point conversion from the five yard line. Let's see what they can do here. We're all tied at 14. Pee on this spot right now. Hill is the man in the backfield to the right of McCarron. Three wide receivers set. McCarron, good protection. Double pump, but it breaks down. Set. Jarrell Owens. Two point conversion. No good. Kick off. Kick it off. Be smart. Let's go. Right. Up at 14 and Hakeem Butler. Yeah, I know. What, what a remarkable drive. Making plays when contested, making plays when he's covered, using that big body, that wide catch radius, making a couple people miss. But if you're AJ McCarron, you've got to feel really good about the trust you have right now and the individual size mismatch that Hakeem Butler brings. He's just got a good feel, and Harry said it best. He's really good one-on-one -on -one using his body, but then when it was zone, he did a really good job of just settling in to the open space. And Tom, this is a guy who was originally not on the St. Louis roster. Right. He reached out to the coaching staff through a DM on Twitter, sent them a video, here's my stuff, take a look. They took a chance on him, and man, is he paying off. Yeah, and he's a remarkably productive player in college. There was plenty to watch on this guy. You know, we got to be ready for all their bullshit. Hear the coaches discussing there on the sideline. I think some of the chippiness that's happening between these two teams, and when they go into the locker room, make sure they're taking care of business and acting like pros. 
With three seconds to play in the half, Donnie Hagman will kick things away for St. Louis. Ezra is the return. Both teams can move once Ezra touches it. If it goes into the end zone, that is an infraction. It will come out to the 35 yard line. DC. Three seconds. They try anything here? Uh, they might be able. They they might be able to take they're a chunk, but I think they're going to take it into the locker room here. Yep. So Tamu will just take a knee. How about St. Louis? 14 unanswered. They tied it at 14 at the half. Let's send it down to Stormy. Coach Beck, we talked about it just a moment ago about your offense moving the ball effectively but not punching it in. What changed that last drive? You know, it's just uh, executing what we got going on. I think right now we're holding ourselves back with some of those turnovers we talked about. Every time we get the ball back, we are moving the football. You know, I haven't seen a lot of pressures, a lot of crazy stuff going on from them in the first half. That could change as we bounce back out. But right now we can keep doing what we're doing. If we do that, we'll be in good shape. Defensively, what's impressed you most about that bunch since that opening drive? I challenged them this week. Our tackling wasn't good last week. They've been all around the football, punching the ball out. It's a run-heavy team. We're going to force them to, to pass, and when they do run, we got to make sure we can get those chances to punch them out, and we've done that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Stormy. Stormy, good stuff. We've seen that from St. Louis. They have stacked the box. They have. They're going to force De'Eric King to throw the ball. We have not seen that from him yet. Yeah, they've, they've clearly done a nice job preparing for quarterback run, and nobody in the first two weeks has had an answer for it. So far in the first half today, St. Louis does. What a first half, John. Man, this has been fun. Two undefeated teams, and it has lived up to the hype. The people's elbow, the lemons. Guess what's back? We'll talk about it in the second half. We're all tied up at 14 of because they weren't allowed to have their beer snake, and in retaliation, they threw lemons yep. on the field. Rebelled. But they have allowed it. The XFL is a fun league, and the beer snake is back. <laughs> the other guy's not playing along. There we go. There we go, kid. You couldn't find a fifth friend to get the E on this I'm back? Telling you, man. You join this? How can you not? Except for the start of this third quarter, Ezra Fields. Both teams can now release after he touched it. He's going to be brought down shy of the 30. So DC will start with the ball to start this third quarter. And we talked about this dual quarterback situation. It's not a controversy because they both know what's coming right. and they both lot like each other and encourage each other. Yeah, it, it's a blend of a, a power flag. running game. 23, two, I'm on ready. Quarterback flag run flag game, flag. and they yeah. like to yeah. take some shots downfield. We saw that with Chris Blair there in the first quarter that led to their first touchdown. And line up inside. Flex. Yeah, 23, two. So oh, Jordan Tom will right. start yeah. at quarterback here on his go. first drive ready, in the third ready. quarter. Second. Handed off to Smith. And we talked in that first half with Harry about just how both quarterbacks love each other, how both running backs love each other. And I asked Jordan Todd and Derek King how they do that. He said, We all go out to eat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And we play credit card roulette. I said, What, what is credit card roulette? We all put our credit cards down. The waitress picks, the waiter picks who credit card pays for. There's Todd getting dragged down. Harry, you ever play credit card roulette in the NFL? Um, we went out to eat. We played credit card roulette. <laughs> and man, when my credit card was the one that came back to me early, I praise God every time. <laughs> you might be in a little different tax bracket than they're in here. You're right about that. Ram, ram, ram. 37 coming up for DC. Good protection. He's got a man wide open. But hits him on the money. Lucky Jackson makes a move. Did he step out of bounds? Yes, he did. Marked out at the 40, but a 28-yard completion. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Let's go, let's go. I like the let's tempo go. here. This is really smart. Big play. Get up and run another one. St. Louis isn't lined up. Got 11 men on the field just now. First and 10 from the 40. Tom will take it off with his feet. 
And he's going to be brought down after a short gain of a couple. It's Kevin Atkins for the stop. Pushed off! He pushed off! So he felt like Lucky Jackson pushed off to create that space. Tamu pressured up the middle. We'll complete that to Abram Smith. That was Atkins already there on the pressure. Gain of six. This is what Anthony Beck was talking about. He felt like that push right there got the defender off balance into the ground, and I'm not so sure he's not wrong. Twins right. Twins right. Twins right. 82 DC. 82 DC. 82 DC. So on third and short, they bring an extra tight end in. Trey Barry comes on. Left side of the formation. Right now he in. goes in motion. Go. Tosses to the right side. Back to Tahamu. And Tahamu just does get rid of it. The runner was down prior to the pass. Down. It's fourth down. No, I threw it. Taniella Tupo. Credited with the sack. Intentional grounding. I threw it. Intentional Correction. grounding. The pass is incomplete. Anthony Beck's right now. Spread left. Spread left. Yeah, 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 and because Beck oh, used his challenge in the first half, he knows he doesn't have another one. Fourth and two. On the ground, sneaking through the hole. That's Abram Smith with a first down for D.C. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Here's what he thinks is intentional grounding. It's tough to tell from that angle, but I did not see a back or an eligible receiver anywhere near. Here we go, here we go. I think Anthony Beck's right on that one, but he's got to start focusing on the next play. Handoff is to Armstead, trying to get over the edge on the right. Gives a stiff arm to Travis Feeney as Feeney pushes him out. Ace, right. Ace, right. So the unique rule here in the XFL is that both teams... I want to know. I didn't see anybody around them. He's still talking about that play. Both teams receive one challenge. They can use at any point during the game as long as they have a timeout remaining. He already challenged the play in the first half, so he does not have another one. Back to the ground with Armstead. And a good ankle tackle there by Wells. Two backs, two backs. Pro pony right. Why Pro dump? Pony right. Why dump? Why dump? Hey, why dump? 50 wide dump. So both Smith and Armstead will be in the backfield with Tahamu. Tenth play of his go, drive coming up. Ready, ready. Set, go. Third and nine. Pressure backside. Tahamu got rid of it. But his tight end, Ethan Wolf, could not hang on to it. So you hear that why dump? You look at Ethan Wolf right there. He actually goes right to the ground, acts like he's falling down, and then he gets up to to, to run the option right. You see him right there on the right, on the right, falling down, getting on the ground, and he's got to make that catch. Good accurate throw from Jordan Thomas. It's a 41 yard field goal attempt. Number 98. Matt Our McCrane eligible. is on to put some points on the board for DC. Up. And the crane puts it through. DC retakes the lead. 17-14 here in this third quarter. Who's going to stay undefeated? Here over St. Louis. AJ McCarron, quarterback for the Battle Hawks. Take a look at what he did in the first half. Really showed a lot of touch. Um, the ability to change the ball speed, to suit the throw. Used his legs here really, really nicely on the conversion. 
keeps it alive, keeps his eyes downfield. And then the last series. This is the slant to Hakeem Butler. Really well thrown football and a big body guy. Yeah! He's loving playing ball, man. I mean, he is fiery. He gets after his guys. He's having a lot of fun out there. You can just tell how much this opportunity yeah. means for all these XFL players. So Matt McCrane kicking things away for DC. Shepard, the returner, once he touches, they can move. There he goes. A lemon comes out. Shepard still on his feet. Makes a cut back up the middle. Shepard. He will track him down, and he's taken down from behind. What a return. Darius Shepard, St. Louis, in good field position. Really one of the, maybe the longest kickoff return in, in, in XFL history. Watch him shift gears right there. Really nice job keeping his feet, maintaining his balance, and then Shepard just gets in a foot race. Fantastic field position now for St. Louis to hopefully get an answer. Trayvon Fuller saved a touchdown right there for Did DC. 72-yard return. Longest so far this XFL season. They start with Hill on the ground. Hill will be stopped for a gain of a few. And some extracurricular after the play. Come on, guys. I'm telling you, this, team, this game means a lot to both of these teams coming in undefeated. Stormy, what do you got for us? Just a little information for you guys. St. Louis center Mike Panashuk was the last guy out of the locker room, wasn't even out here for DC's opening drive here to start the half. He and Brian Hill both dealing with what appears to be cramping coming back into this half. And also after the big return, Darius Shepard now in the tent was holding onto his right hamstring. All right, Swami, thank you so much for the update. Panashu, the center, he was a defensive lineman. Yep. And he showed tape of a couple weeks he had worked on being a center, and that's how this team took a chance on him. Beck said he's been a star so far for St. Louis. Anthony Beck thinks he's going to be in an NFL camp as a center. McCarron, wide open, Jake Sutherland. A 23-yard touchdown pass as St. Louis takes the lead. Come on, man. You know Anthony Beck, the former 12-year tight end in the National Football League. You can see him right there. And this is just a nice job of taking advantage. Pre-snap of exactly knowing exactly what DC was going to be in as we see some more lemons hit the field. I was wondering who was screaming. <laughs> that was A.J. McCarron fired up. There they go for two from the five-yard line. Pitch inside to Hill, and he does not get in. There's Reggie Northrup on the stop. Jake Sutherland, the tight end, with his first catch today, and it was a big one. Yeah, once again, A.J. McCarron taking care of business, recognizing what D.C. is doing defensively, making him pay. Team lead here in this third quarter. Let's send it down to Stormy with tight end Jake Sutherland. I wish that you guys were with us in the commercial break a moment ago. Austin Prohl comes up to you and says, is that man Jake the GOAT? You get another teammate that said, is he's him. Your first touchdown in a game since 2020, since 2017. What's this moment like? I mean, it's pretty incredible. I mean, shout out to the XFL and Danny and, and The Rock for putting this together and allowing us to come out here and, and show what we can do. Um, I've been waiting for that feeling for a long time, and it's finally here, so thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. You, you can feel the excitement every time we talk to a player. They're so grateful for this exactly. opportunity. Exactly. The appreciation in their voice and how much fun they're having in the, in the sport that they love. 
As it fields, both teams can release. Oh, he lost it, but got it back. All right, in the truck, we got Aaron Owens producing, Johnny Hanna directing, and they find every angle to make sure we got this game covered. Look at this angle from the top of the stadium. Let's go. The beer snake has reached the top of section 137, and we are all over it. Stormy needs to be all over it. We've got to get Stormy to, to run over there, get up into the stands amongst the people, and give a report. I want to know how heavy it is. Like, we were talking about that in the break. It's almost to the top, right? Look at that. That is three quarters worth of empty beer cups. Smith on the ground. Can the defenders channel their inner beer snake and come back here down by three? <laughs> so because they've reached the top of 137, they're now starting a new one. Well, of course they are. What else do they have to do? Here we go, here we go. DC Defenders fans, we ready, love ready. you. You guys are the best. Second and five, back to the ground with Smith. And Smith pushes the pile enough for a first down. Here we go, on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Trips left, trips left, trips right. 71 slam. Trips right, 71. Trips left, trips right. Trips left, 71. Trips right, 71. 71. Trips. It's okay, I'm trying to get the room for X. Here we go, here we go. 71 slants. Bubble. Ready, ready. First and Set, 10 go. for Jordan Tommy. Looking for that slant. There it is. He finds Lucky Jackson, puts it on the let's money. Go, let's go, let's go. Flex, and he flex, picks flex, up flex, seven. Flex, flex, flex. Razor, 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 razor. This is the tempo that helped him that right. first drive of the game score a touchdown. Big time. And again, here we go, here we go. being successful on first down gives you so many ready, opportunities ready. here Set, by completing that slant route. Second and short, quick pass to the outside to Hammond. Hammond, a good run after the catch. Let's go, let's go, let's go, get up, get up. Let's go. Uh, let's right, flex, and you hear Tom, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Lisa, Lisa. Who's Lisa? Lisa, 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 Lisa. Slam it, slam it, Ethan, slam it. It's, it's left, I can tell you that. <laughs> ready, ready, take go. Tom throws in, and his tight end, Wolf, can't haul it in. An unfortunate drop there. Nice play design too. Flex it's a left. nice tempo flex work. Left. It did. Queen flex Queen. left. Queen. Fifteen Bronco. Fifteen Bronco. Fifteen Bronco. Hey, let's go flex right. Fifteen Bronco. Fifteen Bronco. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, ready. There go. St. Louis. They bring the blitz. And the quick throw, Chris Blair, the wide receiver, wasn't ready for it. They'll vote there. They'll vote there. Chris right. Blair running that right. slant right, right here. Yo, red, flood, red. F shoot. Hey, flood. Red, flood, red, F shoot. Red, flood, F shoot. Seemed like it was difficult for red, him to locate that ball coming yeah, out of the shoot. shadow yeah. and into the sunlight. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That thing got on him quick. Yeah, he wasn't ready. There you go. Ready, ready. Wolf the tight end in motion on third and ten. Good protection for Tano. Has a man. Completes it. Lucky Jackson gets behind the defense. A gain of 36. Just a nicely thrown football on, on really a vertical route. You got the out route underneath it. Lucky Jackson just runs by the defender. Defender's got his eyes to the inside and keying the quarterback. You can't play man defense while you're watching the quarterback. That was Mike Hampton, the man who got beat. Empty backfield, first and ten. Oh, he gets decked as he delivered. Lakeem Williams. They say he's the fastest linebacker on this team out of Syracuse. Well, it also helps when you're unblocked. Jordan Tom, who's got to get, got to have a feel for, for some of that pressure, and then pre-snap, know where he's exposed within the protection. Right, right, tight. 71, 71. Let's go. Now, because the coordinator can talk to the quarterback, can you tell your quarterback, "Hey, watch your back, right there"? Sure. Yeah, absolutely, he could have. But I don't think he wants to talk to him post, post snap. Second and ten after. 
incompletion to Amu drilled again. That's Williams delivering the blow, and he's talking after that one. <laughs> you hit out there, you can talk a little bit. Spread, spread, spread. Spread right, yellow, spread left, spread left, spread left, spread left. Red rocket, red rocket, spread left, red rocket. Here we go, here we go. Red rocket. Red head. I don't have to fortune that, but in here we already got a field goal. Ready, ready. Tenth ready. play of this drive for Tomu. Completes that one. Catch is made there by Josh Hammond, a gain of 12. Move the chains. Josh Hammond just running a, what we call an option route here. He's just going to settle in, stay in the open void, show the quarterback your chest. Nice connection to pitch and catch there from Jordan Thomas. Here we go. First and goal for the defenders. Donald keeps it himself. He's got a hole up the middle. But it closed fast. He's going to be marked down at the two. Ace, 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 right. Ace, right. You have the option of pitching this right here or taking it inside. You have the pulling guard. That's a well designed play for quarterback run. Well, it's Tupo there on the stop for St. Louis. Armstead is the man in the backfield to the left of Tamu. Tamu keeps himself again and he walks into the end zone. A two yard touchdown run. DC retakes the lead. So DC, we don't kick here extra points in the XFL. You got to go for one, two, or three. DC electing to go for two from the five yard line. Tamu rolling, stops, throws, got his man. Lucky Jackson, two point conversion is good. their kickoff a huge return Darius Shepard that led to a touchdown pass by AJ McCarron finding his tight end Jake Sutherland and then how about DC with a 12 play 81 yard drive Jordan Tomu finishes it off Jordan Tomu had a great drive there Lucky Jackson was the main man in the passing game Jordan Tomu actually right now is in that Medical tent, getting his hand looked at. So Shepard fields it, the way they go. And a huge return is the last one. And this one brought out to the 30. DC has scored on their first possession of each half. Yeah, they've gotten off to a hot start, and, and you know now we're going to have to see, can Seattle, or excuse me, can St. Louis answer? This is kind of how it's, it's it's really very similar to how the first quarter played out before things started to get sloppy. Now we'll see as we talked about at halftime. Can you avoid those mistakes? Can you protect the football here in the second half? Well, we could tell the the under never really had a shot. We thought it was <laughs> going to be a shootout from the first quarter. The over has already hit. We'll go to the ground here with Brian Hill. Let's we'll send it down to Harry. I'm here with wide receiver Lucky Jackson. All three of you guys are scoring drives. It's because the wide receivers have made explosive plays. How does it feel to be involved in this thing, man? Uh, I mean, we knew we was going to step up. Uh, O-line's been doing good. We got to give the quarterback a chance. He's putting the ball up there, and we're going to make plays, just like we said we would. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Harry, they've taken advantage of some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and Jordan Tom has put the ball where it needs to be. Let's see if St. Louis here can answer. With two and a half to play here in this third quarter. DC up by five. McCarron pressured, and he'll be dropped for the sack. D 
DC with all the momentum right now. Joe Wallace bringing down the carry. Wallace, 99 from his nose tackle spot. He's just so disruptive. What he lacks in height, he makes up for with quickness and leverage, and he plays so hard. All right, I heard Obama special. We didn't get to see it earlier. Let's see what it looks like here on third and 13. McCarron! Ball is out. Was his arm going forward, or was it a strip? Davin Bellamy. Where's our recovery spot? Check it. 24 is a good spot. 24 is a good spot. So DC already running their next play. It was ruled a fumble recovery. Dean, of course, they looking to see if the arm's going forward. Let's go. Falls out prior to that. Good call. Yeah, that was Davin Bellamy, the guy who stripped it out and forced it free. Yeah, former Georgia Bulldog. So DC with all the momentum right now. De'Eric King in at quarterback. Handing it off to Smith. Last time we saw De'Eric King in this first half, they challenged him to throw. Yep. Do you think that we're going to see him throw here on this drive? Well, left. Oh left. Let's go Bear Snake Zero. Bear Snake Zero. Hey, Turbo, Turbo! Hey, Turbo, 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 Turbo! Bear Snake Zero? <laughs> um, I think they're going to have to at some point. They're going to have to load up the box and say, hey, you're going to have to beat us on the outside. We're not letting you run it on us. Third and two. St. Louis not allowing any push up front. I think Derek King should have pulled that ball right there. Had he pulled the ball, he might be walking into the end zone right now. Oh! So a loss of one will bring up fourth down, and DC's bringing on the field goal unit. A little surprised that they made the quarterback switch after the momentum that was gained offensively under Jordan Ta'amu to get the ball right there in the red area. I don't know if you want to disrupt that flow, and it, it clearly for this particular series it wasn't successful. Derek King in the first two games has been the spark off the bench, yes. but today seems like St. Louis has been ready every time he came out there. No doubt about it. They've got a hat for a hat in the box, making sure they're not outnumbered. And again, DC hasn't chosen to throw the football yet with Derek King. That is the end of the third quarter. DC up 25 to 20. Both teams undefeated here in the North Division of the XFL. Who's going to stay perfect? We don't care. Free the beer snake. That's it? Yeah. Progressive's Home Quote Explorer makes it easy to compare home and shit. Hey, do they get an unsportsmanlike for saying that? I love you, though. Oh, bitch, we gotta make them pay! McCarron, thank you for wearing a microphone. You are incredible on the mic. Did you hear his teammate go? But I love you, though. <laughs> Man, we love this game. It has lived up to the hype. DC with a five point lead. They're on to attempt a 35 yard field goal to start this fourth quarter. Matt McCrane. John Schriffen alongside my partner Tom Lugamil, Stormy Bonantoni, Harry Douglas. It has been so much fun calling this game. I love coming to DC. Great turnout, crowd, beer snake. We have a sister beer snake that's being developed as we speak. Snap is clean. 
kick is up, and McCrane adds three more for D.C., taking an eight-point lead. All right, Stormy, if people listened to you last week, they made some money. What is your best bet so far right now? Well, here, I want you guys to help me talk through this a little bit because betters were expecting that field goal to be made on the live line. They went from, D.C. went from a four-and-a-half-point favorite up to a seven-and-a-half-point favorite very quickly. And I want you guys to tell me if you think the scoring is going to continue here in this quarter. The total sitting at 56-and-a-half. So can we get more back and forth? And can St. Louis continue to do what they have done the previous two weeks in the fourth quarter. They are a plus 575 money line underdog right now, which means you bet 100 bucks, you win 575 back if Whoa. they win this thing. Wait, Stormy. St. Louis has come from behind in their first two wins mm -hmm. in the fourth quarter. Don't but, we think they could potentially do that again? So it's very, very possible, but important for betters to also keep in mind that this D.C. defender squad has also pitched back-to-back -back fourth quarter shutouts. So who do you have more faith in? Ooh. Stormy, you got to tell me, because you're the expert. What do you got? Oh, it's hard to count out A.J. McCarron in the fourth, guys. He makes me <laughs> a little nervous, I got to tell you. <laughs> Stephen Mitchell Jr. on the return. And he is forced out of bounds. See the first three episodes of the XFL docuseries Player 54, Chasing the NFL Dream. It's available now on ESPN Plus, directed by Peter Burke. This nine-part docuseries chronicles the creation of the XFL under new ownership and provides an all-access look at all eight teams. Dwayne Johnson, Danny Garcia, Jerry Cardinal. I mean, thank you guys for bringing the XFL back. This is everything I could have imagined and then some. The players have all been grateful. The coaching staffs have been grateful. Everyone's turnout, too. I mean, just the investment. McCarron, quick pass to the outside, finds Mitchell Jr. A.J. McCarron takes his game to another level in the fourth quarter. He certainly does. He's played his best football when things have been on the line, and they've needed something from him is when he's performed the best. Pass 19, Waggle. Edge pile on Z.D. Cross. And that interception you see there, that one interception for A.J. McCarron, his, his wide receiver fell down, essentially, and led to a pick six. Range it. Range it. Sutherland, What's the man that? in motion on second and two. McCarron fakes the handoff. Plenty of protection. Puts some air underneath of a dangerous pass. Incomplete. That was broken up by Francis Bernard. Francis Bernard does a great job of finding his landmark when he drops into zone and he gets right in front of the crosser, which is Marcel Ape in number three. And he's just keying the quarterback, getting to where he's supposed to be. Really well played and executed there by Francis Bernard. Greg Williams, defensive coordinator at BC. Here we go, here we go. St. Louis, three for eight on third downs. This is third and two. McCarron, jump ball. Incomplete. Stephen Mitchell thought he might have had it, but didn't come away with it. This ball would have had to have been just dropped into the bucket perfectly. He's looking directly up into the sun. See the safety coming off the head, off the hatch there, late. Nice job by Dewan Neal to recover defensively. Here, Greg Williams yelling, watch the head bob, watch the, the hard count. To give him a free play. Offrichter pumps this one away to Ezard. Ezard will get a chance to return it, spinning right into a tackle. So the defenders force a three and out. So many fantastic monuments here to FDR here in Washington, D.C. Come on back here in the fourth quarter. You're going to see Prohl here, and he's going to come there, and you're going to have a crosser coming here, and they picked off and rubbed each other. Now, if you watch this play develop, A.J. McCarron doesn't see it. He decides to throw to the back, but you see it 
Austin Prohl there going across would have easily gotten the first down and so Greg Williams knew it was coming got the best of AJ McCarron on that particular play he sees man to man and you got crossers you need to use those picks and complete the pass you know what I saw the guy at the bottom of the beer snake holding on for dear life man <laughs> well that thing's probably got some weight to it there's it's got a huge weight we broke apart right, there right. briefly but we're there back intact on first and ten they go to Abram Smith and Smith gets again at two on first down there he is Spread on the bottom up. he just one handed it Spread like no problem right we're good right tight. <laughs> 71 all gator 71 71, 71. that's 71. the sister snake that they're trying to start yep the big one is to the right that there one goes all the way up right. section 137 Damu throwing on the money finds Josh Hammond Hammond a gain of 10 for a first down Really decisive throw that time from Jordan Tom. Flex 51, flex 51, flex 51. Let's go. Here we go. Spread. Spread left. Spread left. Spread left. 22 all stops. 22 left all stops. Here we go, here we go. Ready, ready. Four wide with Armstead in the backfield. Donald, quick throw, back shoulder throw is complete to Lucky Jackson. This D.C. offense, they are humming right now. Harry, walk us through that, the back shoulder once again, taking advantage of the defense. Yeah, from the wide receiver position, you're running a go route, but if you can't get on top of the defender, your quarterback is going to put it back shoulder where only he can catch the football. Great job by Jordan and also Lucky Jackson locating yeah. the football and getting his foot down. Yeah, it's so hard to defend because you're either it's either going to be a pass interference or a catch, right? Exactly. Here we go, here we go. Right Jackson is fourth catch for 89 yards all coming in this half. Damu keeps it himself. Safely will slide down. Sugar, sugar, sugar. And DeLuca there with the stop for St. Louis. Let's get the other way, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're DC, you know St. Louis offense. They come back in the fourth quarter. You gotta put together a drive here. You gotta put together, and you gotta end it with a touchdown. Uh, you don't want to leave this team in St. Louis on the field offensively if you're going down and kicking field goals. Second and ten. Bodies up in the box. Armstead runs right through him. A speed burst picks up 10 first down. Really nice job hitting the crease, getting down the hill. Paul Armstead is a big physical back. And again, the influence of a running quarterback helps open everything else up because the defender sitting there going, well, is the quarterback going to keep it? Is he going to is he going to hold on to it? You know, DC's been doing so well using tempo, but do you almost want to use some clock and slow things down here? Potentially, but I don't think you want to become something that you're not, right? Th this is where they've had success, so let's not screw it up. Armstead following his blockers, finds another hole. A gain of 11 on first down for Armstead. Having their way right now. And So they're going to run 22, which is going to be inside zone to the right. Smith and Armstead in the backfield. It's the gift to Armstead. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And you heard Jordan Tomu. Keep running that same play. 22-23. Yeah. Derek needs to pull it. Yeah, did you hear that right there? That's Jordan telling. Flex charger zero. Go ahead and pull Flex charger zero. Flex charger zero. Derek King in the game right now, 22-23. Tony right. Zone to right or left. 22. Tony right, 22. 22, 22, 22. So Derek King is in there on second and three for the defenders. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. King will give it to Smith. And Smith is going to be stopped just short of a marker. See where the spot is. Confirmed it will be short to bring up third down. Trey, Trey, Trey. Trey, put Trey tight. Ace, 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 
right, eight right. Yak, 17 fire. Yak, 17 fire. 17 fire, 17 fire. You got Yak. That's right. Go. So DC making sure they're on the same page offensively, calling a timeout there. So they wanted a tray, that's a oh, formation, okay. but it you. also required the tight end to be in on the call. The tight end came onto the field late, didn't get the call, was lined up wrong, so they couldn't run it. That was going to be, I think, a quarterback run with something tagged on the end of it. Again, the team numbers to the right or left, even odd. 18, 19, 16, 17. Territory two here. This isn't field goal kicking time if you're DC. Unless you take a massive loss right here, I think they go for it. This will be the first third down of the drive for DC. Third and a short one. King keeps it. And he's got it up for the first down. A gain of four. De'Eric King just following his blockers. They went away from the overload, which was to the right side, so they pulled quarterback counter. Really good play call. We're able to convert. Ace left. Ace left. 16 Gucci. 16 Gucci. Fire. This will be the 10th play coming up on this drive. Over five minutes for the game clock. Nothing doing there as Smith just slides down safely. That was Willie Harvey blowing it up. A loss of six. See Derek King and, and Abram Smith talking about it. And Lucky, Lucky. Spread, spread, spread. Let's go get 10 personnel. Ten I mean, that thing's going to fly out go. into the parking lot. Spread right tight. Spread right tight. Love it. 71, Z mesh. Z mesh. Hey, 71, 71, 71. Another flex cover two, flex 52, flex 52, flex 52, flex 52. Here we go, here we go. We're just crossing routes again. We're ready. Go. Second and goal. King looking to throw. Had two men. He finds Smith. And Smith will be tackled after a gain of six. Flex cover two, don't drop to the end zone, guys. Come on. I mean, he had two receivers right next to each other. Yeah. Let's go. So he had two crossers, and then the running back was actually in the way, Trips wasn't he, Harry? Right. Let's go, even right. hawk, double, even hawk, double buzz, zero. Even hawk, double buzz, lady, zero. Lady, lady, hey, lady, 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 Just lady. Read the end there. lady, 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 QB. Telling Derek King to read the defensive end. Ready, ready. Take it King, looking left, gets rid of it. said Derek King's gonna have to throw it right you're gonna have to give him something to offset what has been a strong run game for DC all season long particularly at the quarterback spot and two critical throws completed one for a touchdown from Derek King DC because we don't kick extra points in the extra in the XFL will elect to go for two from the five yard line Tom was on the field, and now we're going to blow this one dead. I think we got some lemons coming on the field again. The play has been paused for lemons that are flying on the field. The teams are going to go to their sidelines. Only in the XFL. That's why we love it. Now, if you want your beer snake, you got to act accordingly. All right. Now, let's understand something. The beer snake's a privilege. It's not a right. Don't get your privileges taken away due to poor conduct. Now, the Lemons only came out in week one because, to your point, they, they didn't allow the beer snake. Yeah, they took their toy away. The, the powers that be got on the same page, allowed the beer snake to come back this week. You cannot be throwing Lemons. 
lemons. You can dress like a lemon. No, I don't. don't throw any lemons. We're going bunch right. Zach. Yellow. Z mesh. And oh, shoot. Wait, are you Zachin? No, not me. Josh, get you there. Don't have to shoot. You can take the mesh. You ever experienced anything like this here at Audi Field? <laughs> hey, this is incredible. Well, in, in 2020, you had a couple of games here in the, the exact same environment. They love their football here. The venue is a perfect spot for it, but they're invested. There's no doubt. <laughs> Don't take off <laughs> stage. <laughs> See, now you can do that. That's good, wholesome fun right there. You've got the lemon hats. So the fans have listened. No more lemons coming out. And the two point conversion is coming up. Ready, ready. Tom win it. Quarterback go. Smith, the running back to his right. Tom fires one and chopped down as Josh Hammond just short. No good. That was Elijah Hamilton with good tackle. Here, Jordan Tom was saying, you've got to get to the line again, which is the goal line. Got to run that route into the end zone. They've got a touchdown. He's just short. In week one, St. Louis was down by 12. They came back to win. Do they have another comeback in them? Down by 14 with 6.02 to play. T-Mobile has the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus for free. For Orlando Guardians, looking for their first win of the season, taking on the Arlington Renegades. That's coming up right after this game here on FX. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Are they about to connect? A baby snake to the mama snake. Harry. I'm with wide receiver Chris Blair. A lot of people in this organization told me that you're a sleeper. You're one-on-one -on -one backside. You got a slant. Take me through your mindset. I mean, you just seen the results. You just seen the results. It was a touchdown. So, you know what I'm saying? One-on-one -on -one backside, I'm taking me every time. You know what I'm saying? So, say less. Thank you, my man. <laughs> that was Darius Shepard again on that huge return, man. He has been big for St. Louis. He's been huge. And you asked the question, can St. Louis do this again? Well, that certainly Hell puts yeah. you in a position. Yeah. Anthony Beck's loving it. Hell Down by 14, A.J. McCarron, 550 to work with. And three timeouts. Southern Wyoming going in motion for St. Louis. Here's McCarron. They start this drive on the ground with Brian Hill. Good tackle there by Reggie Northrup. Cyclone left. Cyclone left. Cyclone left. Cyclone left. Cyclone left. John and Tom, you guys talking about can the St. Louis team do it again? Anthony Beck on this sideline has been saying a ton. Dig deep. You guys got to believe just one play at a time. That return was a big play. Now see if they can string a few of these together. There's McCarron and his pass incomplete. Looking for Giovanni Haskins. We stole it. We've seen this in the first two weeks for St. Louis. They've come from behind in each game to win in the fourth quarter. Look at the play differential. Yeah. 37 plays to just nine for St. Louis. St. Louis just hasn't had many opportunities. Haven't had the ball. DC's been able to extend drives, take time off the clock. Third and eight for Karen out of the shotgun. Across the middle, finds the crossing, Austin Kroll. And he's going to be brought down after a gain of seven. Fourth and short. Looks like the offense is staying out there. Yeah, I like this call. Viper, 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 Viper. God damn it, get him off. There we go. Let's go, Jen left open, Jen left open. Jen left open, 300 Jen. Defenders fans getting loud. This is the ball game right here on fourth and one. Wait, wait, 
McCarron looking to throw. Incomplete. Was trying to find Butler. Nidare Ellis with the good defense for DC. Yeah, and they, uh, AJ McCarron would love to have this throw back. He's got a tremendous height advantage, six inches from Rouse to Butler, and just doesn't place the ball where it needs to be. That would have been an easy back shoulder catch. And Harry, I, that, that's just a missed opportunity on a perfect one on one scenario. Yeah, you got to be able to connect right there, especially on a key fourth down conversion. But Tom, I got to tell you, man, this secondary for the DC defenders, yeah. those guys have showed up and showed out today. And it's, it hasn't just been this game, it's been every single game that they played in this year. Ready, ready. Set, so go. DC trying to run out the clock to Amu. We'll hand it off to Smith. Gain of seven on first down. St. Louis does have all three timeouts remaining. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I didn't, by the time we called it, we didn't have any time. Uh, 23. You hear Fred Kice, the offensive go, coordinator of DC, saying, go, don't do down, anything stupid. Protect the ball. Ready, ready. with Smith. A rush straight ahead, picks up the first down. Let's send it down to Harry with a defensive mastermind for D.C. I'm with defensive coordinator Greg Williams. Coach, what do you got to say about you guys' performance today? They fight hard every single snap. We as coaches got to help them out. Okay, they, they made some great adjustments at halftime, both in technique and understanding. You got to love these guys. Coming into the game today, St. Louis didn't turn the football over. You guys are able to force three turnovers. Yep, you know what? Three turnovers. And, or, and listen to me. Don't call them turnovers. Call them takeaways. <laughs> it's takeaways on defense. But we had a couple of more we could have gotten. So hopefully we'll finish this game with another takeaway. Thank you, Coach. Keep taking that damn ball away. You bet. Take that ball away. <laughs> we stand corrected. It's a takeaway. That's right. Greg Williams, man. I mean, you look at his defense, and it's so unorthodox. What is it that makes it work so well? <laughs> Just all of the, the eye candy, if you will, all of the movement. We talked about it coming on air today. It's a lot to digest, and it's not always sound, but you've got to identify it if you're going to be able to beat it. And for the most part, quarterbacks in this league haven't gotten onto that yet. The two-minute warning. DC. Trying to stay perfect on the season at 2 0. Can they get to 3 0? Up 14, 158 to play. Subway so keeps up in the game with the. Don't forget, stay with us right here on FX. Coming up next, Orlando is taking on Arlington. And then tonight, the nightcap at 8 Eastern on ESPN2, San Antonio taking on Houston. And we're lucky because we get this rematch. Yep. On March the 18th, our crew will be in St. Louis when DC goes there. Big hit. Armstead doesn't get much. I'll bring up fourth down. About St. Louis, their first of the half. 30 seconds. So St. Louis uses their first time out. They've got two left, which means if DC can get this first down. But they're going to decide to get the special teams on and yeah, this one away. Right. Considering who their punter is and what he's capable of doing, you have to do that. I was talking with Daniel Whelan earlier, and he was saying it's a little tougher because normally you want to boot it and angle it out of bounds. You can't kick it out of bounds here. Right. So what the punters do is they point the ball down mm -hmm. so that when they kick it, it goes end over end, and when it lands, it kind of checks up. Exactly. Like you're hitting a, a, like a wedge. Pitch, a pitching wedge. Correct question. So when you watch him, he'll put the end of the ball down when he punts this one away instead of hitting the fat part of the ball. Boom, 
handle it, looking to go out of bounds, and it dies. <laughs> but it does go into the end zone for a touchback. That wow. thing almost died right before the goal line. Of the two-inch line. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this. Almost could have just left it. Oh, it was going <laughs> so <in>. close. <laughs> Daniel Whelan has put on a punting show today. He has. Here we go. Let's see what. Go it. Here, We're just it. We're not go do anything. Anything. So the ball will come out to the 35-yard line hey, because it went jet. into the end zone. Three, three, three. See what AJ McCarron's got dialed up here. Two Seven. timeouts remaining for St. Louis. Completes that one to Butler. Butler, three red jerseys, and he still doesn't go down. Picks up seven. Clock will continue to run. That's just taking time off the clock. Get true. Look. Get true. On the quick. Again, his jersey being tucked down, and eventually he goes down. Andre Mintz bringing him down in St. Louis calls a timeout. Yeah, timeout St. Louis for a second and a half, 30 seconds. Play just kills you because not only do you have a negative yardage play, but you also have to use a timeout as opposed to an incomplete pass and just getting it out of your hand. I want Joker, 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 Joker. And we're going to go empty right. 51 Obama special and tell the back and ex Utah. So Obama special. In Utah with the X and the H. Empty right. I'm not sure what the Obama special is, but last time they ran it, it was stripped out from McCarran and it caused a turnover. It was, correct. Empty right. 51 Obama special. Utah one, right? I don't know who's Utah. Hey, uh, 51. Third and ten, empty backfield for McCarron. Stepping up in the pocket, he'll find his dependable receiver, Butler. And Butler will cross the 50, eventually brought down. So the clock will stop as they move the chains. And as soon as it's spotted, the clock will start again. Just the second first down of the half for Seattle, as for St. Louis, yep. as they clock it. That's it. Trips right, three to five pressure. Trips right, you just swoosh, wide pressure, X dagger. Here you go. Trips right, three jet, swoosh, wide pressure, X dagger. To the battle hot Hawks have another comeback in them. Make it check down. One minute to play. McCarron will check it down to his running back, Hill. Makes the first guy miss. And that extra push gets the first down. A gain of 11. I can clock this right now. Get your ass on the ball! Hey, the clock's still running! I got 49 less. Let's go bunch right, bump right. Bump please right. reset the game clock Three to 51 Obama. seconds. 51 seconds, please. Bump right. The clock will start Three on the snap. Obama. Thank you. Here we go. So the officials all over it. Resetting the clock to 51 right. seconds. Three jet. Three jet. Set. Make it shift down. Whitey! White Second and ten. McCarron throwing across the field, and it one hops Austin Pearl incomplete. AJ just didn't have enough behind it, and Austin Pearl took his eyes off the ball trying to see who was coming. Three just swoosh F pressure, Y shallow. Jim left open, Jim left towel. Three just swoosh F pressure, F pressure, Y shallow. Why 
Third and ten. Four-man rush, good protection. Crossing over the middle is Butler. But he's still in bounds, short of the marker. The clock will continue to run. Timeout in St. Louis, their final timeout of the half, 30 seconds. You know, it's tough for them. They don't have a lot of speed at wide receiver. They got a lot of size. So if they don't get that ball near the sideline, they're not getting out of bounds, and it's killing them with their timeout usage. So St. Louis now out of timeouts, 36 seconds to play. But because we are under the two minutes, Tom, to your point, yep. if you get out of bounds, that does stop the clock. No question. I haven't seen a lot of shots to the outside. And the underneath shots, they don't have enough speed to get, get out of bounds, get to the sideline, and turn the corner. Jim McCarron letting everybody know you got to get to the marker. If you don't, game's over. Fourth and six. McCarron, the deep throw. Intercepted. Picked off at the goal line. And DC will win it. He was about 25 yards deep. Gave him a lot of time to get off into the sideline to make a great play on the football. I just don't think A.J. McCarron thought he was going to be able to make up that much ground. No, Greg Craig Williams loving it. Takeaways, not turnovers. Offense has turned the ball over. Defense has taken it away. Atmosphere here in DC. Hold on. We'll move to 3 0 with the win. Dom, though, goes under center now and will just rush forward to try to get out of his own end zone. Ooh. Thinking about a reset at 23. Wait, we got a fumble here. Take a look at this. Is that what they're... Tom, who oh, never wow. got the snap, ball came Thank out. You. St. Louis, reset it's not over yet. 26 seconds. 26 seconds, please. Ben DeLuca came away with that one. And they put 26 seconds on the clock. Wow. Thank you. First, it looked like he wasn't even going to get out of his end zone, not realizing he didn't even have the football. F field 12 duo, X now. I mean, uh, X, X is fake. If we don't get it, we got a clock here. First and goal. Brian Hill, the man in the backfield. Sutherland goes in motion. McCarron looking left the whole way, throws it up. Touchdown, St. Louis! Stephen Mitchell Jr. And we're not done yet. Let's go, Scatter to Trench Ray. 51 by Swan. Scatter to Trench Ray. Fourth and 15. Fourth and 15. Scatter to Trench Ray. 15. Now we gotta go. Fourth and 15. Scatter to Trench Ray. 51 by Swan. Scatter to Trench Ray. 51 by Swan. 11 and Nice release off of the football there. By Stephen Mitchell. A well thrown ball. Scatter. 22 seconds going for two. You hear Anthony Beck yelling, fourth and 15. That's the make it, take it opportunity that they could have. That's why this game is not over yet. Correct. Starts here with this two point conversion from the five. McCarron. Stepping up, throwing. Got it. Right back to Stephen Mitchell Jr. Two point conversion is good. St. Louis is the only team in the XFL who has converted a fourth and 15. That's in lieu of an onside kick. Right. 
Listen, immediately. Has chosen the alternate possession option. It's fourth and 15 at the 25 yard line. So instead of an onside kick here in the XFL, you can do the make it, take it. You have one snap on a fourth and 15. If you convert it, you keep the ball and the drive will continue. Hey, Stormy. I love this. What's the live line right now? <laughs> this is crazy. It's all locked up right now, guys. I'll get back to you in a moment. Hey, hey, let's go. Come here. Hey. That's understandable with all the things we've seen so far in this game. Well, this is incredible. We've gotten everything we expected to get today between these two teams. Outside of the turnovers, this has been a great football game. 62 points, the highest scoring game we've seen so far in this XFL season. Look at the alignment there in the defensive secondary for D.C. Six players aligned on the 40-yard line. One snap, fourth and 15, McCarron, pressure, and he's dropped. Devin Bellamy saves the game for D.C. Oh, and we have something going on after the play. All kinds of flags. With a game that was this good, you hate to see it turn to this. Tempers have been flaring the entire game. It's been very chippy. This is really unfortunate. This isn't what the game's about. No, no this is not what the XFL is about. The XFL is about taking advantage of an opportunity, putting positive things on tape. You don't want this. No. Get off the field. Get off the field. Come on, guys. Don't end it like this. DC 43 St. Louis and 73 other way around, DC. Other way around. Other, other way, way around. around. That's DC, 43. DC 43. St. Louis 23. 43, 23, and 73. 43 yeah, right there. Right there. Down. I'm going to give you a dead ball spot because we do have time on the clock and we are going to snap it. Okay. Hey, bring it in. Okay, so I'm going to need help with this announcement. Hey, let's they all offset, right? Set after the after the down. So 43 DC, 23 St. Louis, and I'm also going to eject 73 DC for throwing a penalty flag. That's that's good. And the 18-yard line is your dead ball spot. That's where we're going to snap it. A lot of infractions here. You might have to have a note card. There are multiple fouls after the play. The following three players will be ejected. Unsportsmanlike conduct, DC number 43. Unsportsmanlike conduct, St. Louis number 23. Unsportsmanlike conduct, DC number 73. All three players are ejected. The ball will be spotted at the 18-yard line, first down. All right, so let's clean this up. Francis Bernard, linebacker for DC, ejected. Brian Hill running back for St. Louis ejected. That's because of the scrum that was going on in the pile. After that was getting cleaned up, the guard Rod Taylor threw it. He's ejected for doing that. Uh, be a pro. I mean, that's, you know, that's my response to this. Be a pro. Right? And don't do something to embarrass yourself, your team, the league. After a game like we've had here, I know Anthony Beck doesn't want it. Reggie Barlow doesn't want it. And guess what? Both these two teams 
They'll see each other again oh, yeah. in two now weeks we in St. Louis, and we will have that game. Our crew. Should be going on. Just get our players. I get it. Just get our players listen, back. Listen to me, AP. I'm Tori. So after all of that, DC will have possession. St. Louis cannot stop the clock. All they need to do is take a knee, and this one is over. The defenders in victory formation to Amu takes a knee, and yeah, this was predictable. This was predictable. Defense number 96, five-yard penalty, replay first down. I apologize, that was 96, Mikhail London called for the penalty. Hey. Off the field, coaches, hey. players, hey. Get off. The game has ended. This was an outstanding game. DC, they stay perfect with a 34 28 win from a partner, Tom Lugenville. Stolen by the Tony Harry Douglas on John Trippin. Let's send it to our next game in Arlington, guys. Take it away.